Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for around the 28th. Yeah. So, let's just see what comes up. What do we have for around the 28th? Keep in mind that the timing is fluid. Not every reading is for you. This could resonate now, in a couple days, next week, whatever. What message do I need to deliver today? What's coming? What is coming? Six of Wands reversed. Well, battle of some sort. Hmm. One hit wonder. Somebody with an overinflated ego, maybe. Maybe some unwelcome news. Three of Swords reversed. Hmm. What is coming? Well, we have Six of Wands reversed, Three of Swords reversed. Somebody's been hurting. They've been in some sort of pain. Maybe heartbroken or something. Heartbroken over somebody that didn't follow through, had no staying power, but we want to know what was coming. Let me get that so you can see a little bit better. Three of Swords reversed. Now that is typically some sort of recovery on the path, on the path to healing, but Six of Wands says differently in reverse. That's trouble. That's fighting, fighting, uh, not making progress. Somebody isn't, isn't headed in the, they're really, uh, struggling, dis, dis, in disharmony. Somebody is struggling, struggling with their pride because that is about pride. They're not ready. They're not ready to stop fighting. Maybe, maybe want some sort of forgiveness because the Three of Swords in Reverse can be forgiveness. But there's, there's, they're fighting. They're fighting something. Um, Three of Swords reversed. It could be extremely painful. Somebody could be in some extreme pain because when you get reversals, it can be extremes. So somebody could be in some sort of extreme. Extremely heartbroken. Broken. Now this is a loss. It's losing. It's not winning. It's losing. Or mm, still fighting so much. Can't win. Not making much progress. Hmm. Or not make not completing. I mean, obviously it's not. Something isn't over yet with that Six of Wands reverse. No. It is time to leave the past hurts behind with the Three of Swords reverse. Yes, there's been a lot of pain. Somebody's fighting it, though, because this is right in the middle of the battle. This is, this is uh, not willing to surrender, right? Not willing to give up. Nine of Cups reversed. The Hanged Man definitely struggling. Somebody is very, very much struggling. They're having a very hard time. Very dissatisfied. Has a point to prove. Oh my goodness. Struggling to let go. Somebody must struggle. You must struggle through this. Somebody may have some addictions too. It feels like they're going overboard. It's like they're losing a battle. And I don't know if it's within some sort of an addiction. You know, they're losing the battle. They they can't change. They won't change. They're, they're struggling to change. They're struggling to let go. Somebody is really, really, really struggling. And they're hurting themselves. They're causing themselves too much pain. And there's embarrassment as well. I feel like somebody is really uh, worried about, you know, social pressure. They're feeling disgraced. And there's embarrassment. I don't know if there's public embarrassment or they're just embarrassed, you know, or something like that. And maybe that's why they're hurting or they're hurting themselves or something like that. But anyhow, 
Nine of Cups reversed, very, very dissatisfied, not happy, um, lacking uh, wish fulfillment. Somebody's not getting what they want, and they're not getting what they want because they can't, they won't change. They will not change. This is somebody who is stuck in their ways. You know? They're in the process of learning a lesson right now. Somebody is learning a lesson right now. They are becoming enlightened, but they're being, it's taken a lot of time and it's going to take more time. I feel like they're overindulging. Somebody is going overboard with the Nine of Cups reverse. I think that they're really, really going overboard. There's lack of inner happiness here and there's lack of confidence. We have somebody here that is unable to receive love. And it's because of pride. Somebody may have wished for something, you know, out of pride, out of ego. And now it's turned into a nightmare, you know. And they may, they may be, now they're fighting themselves, you know, and they're hurting. Somebody is definitely hurting. And I think they're, I think it's extreme. There's somebody here that is immature. They're very, very unhappy. It's almost like they're miserable. They're devastated. And now they're overindulging. They're overindulging in, I don't know, maybe alcohol or drugs or drinking or something. Somebody is overindulging. I don't know if we have like a, a social disaster here as well. Anyway, what is this Three of Swords reversed? What is this Three of Swords reversed? Forgiveness, healing, you need to heal, need to heal, need to forgive. But we got somebody here that's so stubborn that they can't forgive. They need to learn some, they are. This is somebody that's very prideful and smug and cocky and, you know, I'll show that is having a hard time forgiving a blamer, likes to blame everybody else for their pain when really it's them. Three of Swords reversed. Queen of Swords reversed. One more card. Unsympathetic. We have somebody here that doesn't have any sympathy. Three of three of pentacles reverse. No togetherness. Lack of teamwork. Don't want to communicate. Doesn't want to work together. We have an individual here that has turned cold. Has turned cold. And and very very cold. Very very cold. Has turned cold. Does not want to work together. Is hard to deal with, maybe hard to love, maybe brash, very assertive. Um, may not be able to forgive, or may not. Yeah, there's there's lack of forgiveness here, and I think we have an individual that is distraught because they are dealing with a very hard person, somebody that is very cold and hard and. Uh, doesn't care. It's like this person has no sympathy. This person is insensitive. No desire to work together at all. Lack of n none. It's like, I don't have any, I don't, you know, not on the same page. So we have an individual here that does not want to communicate they do not want to compromise. They're mad. Somebody is pissed off. They don't want to, they don't, they don't want to communicate. They don't want to give anything. They don't. Right now, I feel like they're hurt. They're really, really, really hurt. And that's why they're being such a bitch. And it doesn't have to be a female. Somebody is being... Very, very cold-hearted. 
and it's because whoever because we got two people here we got two sides we got somebody over here that is very stuck very trapped very um stubborn can't change won't change overdoes it goes overboard very very uh loud, boastful, likes to be seen and heard. Very much worried about public recognition as well. Anyway, this person over here is hurt. We have somebody over here that is hurt, that is in uh, don't come near me mode. Do not come near me. Very, very stressed. Very sharp-tongued individual. Unforgiving. We have an unforgiving individual over here who is refusing to compromise. Maybe very intimidating. This person may be intimidated by this one. This one is definitely cutthroat, you know. Uh, Ace of Swords reversed. Not communicating. Not wanting to communicate. taking no approaches you know no maybe shut down somebody may be shutting down communication ace of swords reverse that's no no communication i don't know if somebody was lied to as well and has made really piss somebody off we definitely have somebody here that is not happy at all on this side gemini libra aquarius Somebody hasn't told the truth or they lied or they did something that really, really hurt. This is sharp. Very, very sharp. Hmm. Sharp words. I feel like there's some sharp words that are going to be said or have been said. They're going to be said. There's no new beginning here. The answer is no. You hurt me. I don't want to work with you. We are not on the same page. There's a lack of respect. Somebody has disrespected somebody. Maybe it's their mother. I don't know. I was looking at this. It doesn't have to be. It's somebody that is a professional and whatever they do, it's somebody that is in a position of authority. It's an older individual because queens are older, they're not younger. A younger person is a page or a knight. So this is an older individual, male or female, that has been disrespected. They have been disrespected by somebody. Forgiveness is needed, but we have this is like a show off. We have a show-off here that is struggling to change. They are struggling very, very, very much to change. This person is learning a lesson, and they are learning it the hard way from an individual that does not want to have anything to do with them anymore. Now, this one may maybe has, I mean, this is about forgiveness and reversed, but that doesn't mean that I want to work with you. So, you know, I'm not sure if somebody has forgiven, but they haven't forgotten. Okay. Interesting. Three of swords reversed. Needing to leave the past behind. We have somebody here that is very, very bitter. Very bitter. The fool reverse. This is foolish. Somebody's done something foolish. They are dealing with an individual who is very sharp, very brash, and very assertive. They have done something stupid. Or they are about to. This is stupid. Naive. Impulsive. Headed for a fall. There may have been a misunderstanding or there may be one coming up. If there, if, I would be very, very careful... I would. I would be very, very, very careful with trying to prove a point. Because this is somebody who tries to prove a point. I'm gonna I'm gonna stand my ground, I'm gonna prove my point. Well 
Okay, you go for do that. I dare you. That's this one right here. I dare you. This is a loss. It is. This ain't winning. Will not win. This person that is, is refusing to budge, that has a point to prove, is not going to win. Okay, they're gonna they're battling their own ego. They are. And it's foolish. This is foolish. And the six of wands in reverse is pride. We have again, we have foolish pride that is causing extreme heartache. It's causing pain. The fool reverse headed for a fall. Somebody is definitely headed for a fall. They're losing something, and you notice because something is slipping away. Some, and it's because they because they are. Uh, this is a setback. It is a setback. Somebody is losing something. It is definitely slipping away. It's because of foolish behavior. Somebody has done something foolish, or they're going to do something foolish. They're going to do something stupid. It's almost like they're going to fall flat on their face. They're going to be losing ground, or they are losing ground. <laughs> Somebody's making a poor judgment call. They are. They're doing something without thinking. I don't know if they're medicated or on drugs or alcohol or something like that. They're definitely definitely doing something stupid. Reckless. Reckless behavior. We have an individual here that ignores advice. Will not listen to anybody's advice. No professional advice. Nobody's advice. Probably breaks the law. Ten of swords. Oh my God. So we got somebody here that is definitely feeling defeated. They're feeling defeated. They're on their knees. They've reached the, the rock bottom by the looks of things. I think we have somebody here that is really, really, really struggling. They're struggling to uh, survive. Somebody is struggling to survive. It feels like they have been uh, pushed away by many people. They've pulled a lot of swords out of their back. And they're in their, they get out, look at those three swords in somebody's back. Somebody is hurting very, 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 very badly. They are. They're hurting badly. But it's their own doing. They they don't have to keep going down this path. They could go get help. You know, they could go in another direction. They could go, you know, they could change. But they refuse to change. So we got somebody here that is refusing to change. Anyhow, Ten of Swords, that is the end. It's the end of suffering. Um, reaching the end. Can't do it anymore can't do it anymore I think there is some some unwelcome news that is that is coming I feel like somebody has reached the end of a battle okay they may not have any fight left I feel like there is some bad news that is coming I do I feel like we have somebody that uh doesn't have any strength left they don't have any strength and they're putting they're putting their they, they're losing their willpower they're losing their willpower because that sword is down and that is the sword of power they're losing their power they're losing their strength they can't they can't do this anymore they've been hurt they're hurting so badly but they're hurting so badly because they refuse to accept the truth that they need help that they need to work together that they need to listen to advice so we got somebody here that is in this person is really struggling. They're really struggling to change.
We definitely have an unforgiving individual here. I wonder if the law is going to get involved as well with that Queen of Swords reversed in the Ace of Swords. I'm not sure what is going on, but it feels like there is some sort of professional help that is needed. We have somebody here that is refusing. They are refusing to accept it. No acceptance. This is also no communication. Uh, not being honest. Somebody may not be being honest with themselves. But this Ten of Swords is a mental or a physical collapse. Somebody may have a breakdown. They may have a mental breakdown, a physical breakdown. This is like the, this, this, I don't know if it's a catastrophe or a disaster. This is the death of a situation. This is the straw that breaks the camel's back. Somebody may have said something very, very painful, very, very hurtful, and that's what does it. This is this is like uh, goodbye. It could be, you know, it is. No more communication. I'm I'm wondering if communication is being cut off. These are both communication cards. They're both reversed. Communication be could be could have been or could be being cut off with an individual that uh, did something really, really, really stupid. But tens are completion, so this is the end. It's the end of a painful situation. Now, I don't know if somebody is going to collapse, you know, or have a mental breakdown. Or a physical breakdown. They can't do it anymore. This, this is too much. It's, it is too much. Three of Cups. I wonder if there's a third party situation here. I was going to say it with the Three of Pentacles, but... I didn't, now I'm going to, we have threes, threes, three threes, but all three of them are reversed. So there's an absence of success here because most of these cards are reversed and no, my deck isn't upside down. I do reversals. I shuffle so that reversals come out as they're supposed to. This isn't fantasy land. 90% of the other channels are. Anyhow, the Three of Cups reversed. This isn't fantasy land. I'm talking as the Queen of Swords in reversed. It's a cold, hard truth. If you want fantasy land, drink another one. Three of Cups reversed. That is parting ways, losing friends, losing family. But there could also be a third party. There could be too many people. Um, giving poor advice as well. Somebody, and I do feel like somebody has received some poor advice. Which may have made them cocky or made them think that they knew more than they knew. And that goes with yesterday's reading. I believe we had the high priestess reversed. That is somebody who may think that they're psychic or think that they're a tarot reader or think that they know. And they give poor advice. Anyhow, Three of Cups reversed. That is parting ways. Friends, family, not wanting to socialize, not wanting to communicate, not wanting to hang out. Losing people. Somebody is losing people. And it's losing, they're losing people because of their foolish pride because of their actions because of their impulsiveness because of their inability to control themselves and because they always have a point to prove so I feel like on this day what advice do I have what advice do I have Five of Wands. 
Well, that is a card of competition. It's a card of competition and and again, it's a fight. I wouldn't advise people to fight, but this is a fight. This is a battle. Fight. And I don't mean fight with another person. Fight to live. Fight to win. And I wouldn't, I don't mean win the fight. I, and it's interesting because I don't mean win the fight like you always have. Because that's what's caused this problem. Is needing to win the fight. Be a little bit more playful. That doesn't look like these people are really fighting. It looks like they're playing. Somebody needs to be more playful. Be more gentle. Anyhow, if I want advice, I would say don't fight. I don't play. Have fun. Somebody is is not. They're losing friends. They're losing family. They're they're parting ways from people, and it's because they're 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 lacking um, emotional security here. They're not emotionally secure, and because they're not emotionally secure, they're going overboard and they're trying to to get friends by proving themselves when they should be just being a lot more playful. Don't be so competitive. Don't be so competitive. This is a strong competition. Let go of, let something go. Let go of the competition. Be more carefree. Stop fighting. Anyhow, stop fighting what your heart wants. And I'm saying that because the Queen of Swords in reverse can be about following your heart. Somebody may need to follow their heart as well. And communicate. Communicate. Be playful. Take a playful approach. Somebody needs to take a playful approach. I think we have an individual that is very dissatisfied with where, where life has gotten them, but they have made some poor choices by always trying to prove themselves, by always wanting to fight, by always wanting to prove a point. And all that does is cause animosity and competitiveness. I don't know if there's some sort of termination here. Somebody may be... I don't know, because the Three of Cups reversed or, you know, if there's a termination. I do feel like there's some sort of bad news here. There's unwelcome news that is coming. Somebody may be giving up a fight. Somebody's prayers have not been answered and it's because of their own actions. And I'm saying their prayers haven't been answered because of the three threes that are reversed. And it's because this person is not in mind, body, and spirit unity. You know, they can't get it together right now. Because they're so competitive. Let go of the competition. Follow your freaking heart. Be nice. Be kind. Be gentle. Be loving. Don't be so cold. So anyway, I feel like on this day, somebody is going to be, be, somebody is giving up a fight. And they're parting ways from, I don't know if it's a third party. And maybe it's because of a fight. Maybe they had a fight. And the person that they're dealing with is like, I don't fucking think so. Or they are, you know, somebody's like, nope, see ya. I ain't fighting with you no more. It's fucking over. Anyhow, good luck. Don't forget to hit that uh, notification bell to catch the next daily vibe.